everyone! So I did go on a cruise and I've been back for a couple of weeks, few weeks, I don't know, a couple weeks. I didn't give an update on this channel, but on my So Craftastic channel I did an update video saying where I was going and what dates and when and I think that's the same thing, what dates and when. I just edited together an extremely awesome cruise vacation video and I'm gonna put that on my So Craftastic channel just because I I don't know it's just amazing and I feel that it should get more views than it would on here before I get into the haul this is a haul video and I'm also going to at the end talk a little bit about how wonderful my vacation was because I don't really explain how the boat was how the ship was I get in trouble for saying boat how the ship the giant ship was and my experiences on it so I'll do some explaining in this video Lucy you got some explaining to do I didn't really buy much I'm not really one for souvenirs when I was in Key West, I got this shirt that says Spring Break 2012, Key West, Florida. Last year I got souvenir Spring Break shorts. My other article of clothing that I bought was from the Grand Cayman, I'm, I, I'm in the Grand Cayman Islands in the Bahamas. This is a crop top that says love, and then it says Cayman Islands, and it's neon yellow, and the back is slitted. Awesome. And if you did notice this stain, I think I got chocolate ice cream on it because I had a swirl ice cream cone on the cruise. It was 24-7 ice cream machines. And I only had one cone. I'm kind of disappointed at that. Whatever. And then this is pretty much my souvenir box. My friend bought a watch set that came in this box. Here's a little stingray that I got in the Grand Cayman Islands because we were supposed to go swimming with stingrays, but that got canceled because it was really windy out. So look how adorable he is. Just look at that. And he's really soft and fuzzy. Also, I went to, I think, Burger King in the Grand Cayman Islands, and they gave me this coin back as change. So I'm going to hold on to it. It's really cool. And here's the back of it. Here is my Carnival of Freedom card and this is what you use to get into your room to get back on the ship and to buy things on the ship because they have shops and everything. Also at the Grand Cayman Islands I got these three turtles so they're really cute and they're pretty cheap they're like two fifty a piece or something and I just think they're adorable and then this one actually says Cayman on it. I played bingo on the ship one night. I was one away from winning in like two different places and I would have won a ton of money but yeah someone called bingo and I got this magnetic bracelet slash necklace in Jamaica. I'm going to have to resize it because my wrist is tiny and that's the smallest it can get. There was a jewelry shop on the ship. They had Inch of Gold there and you got to pick your chain. And mine has black and white pearls and gold chain. And then they put the clasp on and it kind of matches my ring. Yeah. In Key West, I also got this magnetic piercing and I had it in my nose like one day or something or a couple days. I don't want to get my nose pierced but every once in a while it's kind of fun. Alright about the trip, I live in Ohio, Northwest Ohio and it was a 21 hour plus drive down to Fort Lauderdale. So there were five of us in a giant van and the three guys were driving us girls. We got to just sit back and relax. Actually no, like we were navigator roles so like I would sit in the front seat and help the guys uh, navigate the map and stuff, the GPS, because we're high tech like that. We drove straight through Friday night and we got a hotel Saturday night. But before the hotel, like we stopped in Orlando, I think it was Universal Studios. It's all in the video when you watch it on my other channel. They have people movers, which is like, it's not an escalator because it's flat, but it, it's so cool. It moves you. It's a walkway that moves. It's like the Jetsons. It's sweet. And they have a bunch of shops. We ate at Bubba Gump Shrimp. And I, like I said, we stayed in a hotel and it was a really sketchy, scary part of town in Orlando. I mean, I don't know if we really should have been afraid, but it just looked scary and run down. So we uh, stayed there, and it wasn't bad, though. It was uh, pretty nice, pretty okay. We had a few hours to drive Sunday morning before we got to Fort Lauderdale. Then we had to lug all our baggage to the luggage check-in. That was a crazy sentence, lug baggage, luggage. And then you really cannot fathom how ginormous this ship is. It, takes my breath away. It, no, it really was. It's a sight to see. I never in my life would have imagined being on a ship so big. It's like a hotel on water. It's 
amazing. Basically this ship has everything. It has dance floors, it has kids clubs, um, bars, casino, which I won $26 at, <laughs> I score, and millions of rooms, not millions, but a lot. Decks with pools, jacuzzis that had an adult deck, which was amazing for 18 and up. No little kids running around, no offense. There was mini golf, which we didn't get to do. Um, they had basketball court, volleyball nets, a running track, which I did not use. I should have. They had buffets. They had burger bars, delis, pizza. That was like all night pizza. You could get free room service. They had ice cream 24 hours. They had live shows. Not quite Broadway level, but they were amazing. Not like I've been to a Broadway show, but they were amazing shows. They had like the Beatles performance one night. Then they had a New Orleans show one night and the dancing was spectacular. They had murder mysteries going on, bingo games, um, name that 80s tune, which I was one away from winning. 19 out of 20. I was upset. Old people beat me, or older than me people beat me, so I figured they lived through the 80s, so uh, I'm not as upset that I didn't win. Me, I was so scared because I've never been on a, sh a big ship like that. I've been on like a ferry and like little, little tiny boats. It rocks, it does, I'm not gonna lie, if you're going on a cruise, the boat rocks, but the thing is, we met someone who said they had gone on 11 cruises and this one, the very one that I was on with my friends, was the worst for waves by far ever that they've ever been on. So if I happen to have survived that, which I did, then you guys should never worry about being on a cruise because it wasn't terrible. It's just at times it was scary looking at the water at the dinner table, for instance, that was shaking in the glasses and being in your room and the signs are shaking on the wall and you're laying there and it's just kind of scary sometimes but I mean it didn't make me sick thank god at night they had uh, dance clubs which was amazing it was called the 70s disco lounge I believe but they didn't play 70s music they played like regular club music which was still fun but I was like I wish that the Bee Gees were on or something. Dinner was amazing every single night. Well, I, I missed one of the nights to play the 80s game, but oh, they had so much good food and they had like all these different things you could try. Like we tried alligator, which I had had last year. We tried escargot, which is snail, but it tastes so good. And they had like lobster, different types of fish, and... They also had frog legs. I didn't try that, not because I'm afraid to try it. I just didn't try it. I don't know. And this was the fanciest restaurant I have ever been to. I don't know what types of people watch my videos. I don't know if you guys have, um, you know, if you, like, grow up in areas where there's just fancy restaurants all over or something. But they bring the bread around, and they have tongs, and you point to the bread you want, and they put it on your plate. And then you wait for everyone to get their food before you start eating, which is really, really weird because I usually go to, like, Olive Garden or Applebee's or something like that. When I go out with my friends to eat, we just eat. Camera roll. Barbara Streisand. Woo! Okay. Here's one of the views off the deck of the ship. Those are the waves. It's just so pretty. And I walked out at night a couple of times and... You just see ocean all around you and it's surreal because I can't even begin to imagine in my head how big the ocean is, how big the world is because I don't think it's able to be processed in my mind. It's very relaxing not having access to your phone the entire time because you don't have Wi-Fi, you don't have reception. I like seeing palm trees. We don't have palm trees in Ohio. Here's a really pretty picture from the Grand Cayman Islands. I saw a sea urchin. It's weird because when you're on the ship there's no birds out there. There's no bugs out there. So you're in the middle of nowhere, literally. <laughs> but we took a catamaran to the falls, Duns River Falls, and it was like an hour climb. You have to hold hands with everyone to climb up this because it's actually really hard. Like, I thought that I was going to be able to do everything on my own, but you need people's help to pull you up and keep you from falling because there are slippery rocks and there's parts where the waterfall is really strong and you need people's help to propel you up instead of getting sucked back. So yeah, these falls were amazing. And then the catamaran boat ride back, like the waves were so huge and it, it's a little little boat this time so it was just 
I don't know, never experienced something like that before in my life. They had the music blasting, they had like free punch, all you could drink, and it was just so much fun. So much fun. Being in the sun, being in the warm weather, um, seeing like lizards and chickens and stuff crossing roads. We don't have that in Ohio either. Well, not where I live. I don't know. I don't live in the country, and I don't live by lizards, <laughs> so it's just weird not seeing like squirrels and birds all over. Lizards. I don't know what that was. If you are lucky enough to ever go on a cruise, if you haven't been yet, then do it. Do it, do it, do it. Yeah, and the sunsets on the ship are beautiful. I don't know, if you have any questions, I think, I feel like I did a really bad job explaining this. If you have any questions about specific parts of my vacation, then just feel free to ask in the comments and I will get back to you, but I'm going to just show a few haul items that I purchased from stores recently. First of all is this shirt I have on. It is a very flowy crop top. Then it has lace at the bottom. I got this from Kohl's and it has really flowy sleeves so I have a blue cami on underneath from Forever 21. So yeah, here's what it looks like. Beautiful. I love it. Also from Kohl's I got this shirt which is flowy as well and that's a sleeve length. And then it has a little band at the bottom. Just trying to get some unique shirts for my spring and summer wardrobe. I also got some black shorts because the only black shorts that I own right now are dress shorts for like when I go to the club or like black sequin shorts for when I dress up. So, And then I got this really pretty necklace. This is an owl and it has blue gems on it. I went to Macy's and got this yellow cardigan. And it has buttons on both sides at the top. Short sleeves with a little bit of ruching. So it's longer in the front than it is in the back. Then I got this gorgeous pink shirt with lace and some sheer stripes. And it's pretty flowy and um, pretty short length. I got these shorts which are beautiful floral pattern. Also got some new black skinny jeans. They're supposed to be really smooth. They're from the Celebrity Pink Jeans collection and they're just regular black skinny jeans. Because I'm afraid that the ones I have are going to stretch out so I'm just like paranoid about that. And then I also went to Michael's. I got these on clearance for $2 a pack and I want to add them to a tank top at some point. I got this charm for, I don't know, $3.50 because I want to make it into a necklace for myself. And I also got some yellow duct tape. Yes, and I used my 40% off coupon on this as well because my mom and I both used a coupon. So yeah, that's the end of this video. Hopefully it wasn't too boring and draggy and stuff like that. I hope you enjoyed everything. And um, if you have any questions or anything, let me know. Follow me on Twitter and uh, Instagram. And you guys have a great rest of the day. I will see you soon. Check out my cruise video. Thank you. Bye.